Once you've memorized a set of Excel shortcut keys, the next evolution is getting faster at typing them. And you do this with practice and optimal finger placement on your keyboard. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through tips for typing faster in general, and then we're gonna apply those tips to popular Excel shortcut keys. But before we get started, leave a comment and let me know, how can I help you in Excel? And this video was actually requested by a follower of the channel. So thank you, Minu, for your comment. And while you're leaving a comment, make sure to click subscribe and like the video. And let's get started right now. To practice typing, I use 10 fast fingers. I'll link to the website in the description. And the last time I did it, I averaged 75 words per minute, which compared to some other people, isn't that fast, but it is fast enough for me to generally be one of the fastest at Excel in my office. And really I attribute the speed to just knowing which fingers should be hitting which keys. So I use what's called the home row method. And that means that I have my left hand starting with my pinky on the keys A, S, D, F. And my right hand starting with the index finger is on J, K, L and semicolon. And using the home row method sets me up pretty well for typing Excel shortcut keys quickly. And so now let's talk about how I type Excel shortcut keys. I don't think it's the only way, but it works for me. And I've rarely seen in person somebody move faster than I do in Excel. So I do think I'm onto something. So switching to keyboard view, there's three sets of important keys that you need to nail finger placement for. The control key, the alt key, and a couple special keys we'll cover at the end. In general, I use my left pinky finger on the control key for shortcuts that only require my left hand. I use my left thumb for shortcuts that require my right hand. And I use my left thumb for the alt key, but let's dive in a bit deeper to see how this plays out in practice. So for shortcuts that I can use only my left hand, I do my left pinky on that control key, and then I press the corresponding key based on the home row method. So to copy, I press C with my left index finger. I can navigate over, control with my left pinky, and V to paste. Now for strike through, I'll press control five and my right index finger will actually hit the five in that case. For control B, I do left pinky and then B, and then I can do the same thing for left pinky for control and then T to enter a table. Now there are instances where conceptually my left hand could do the entire operation, but I actually use my left thumb. So for example, to bring up the format cells menu, I'll, I'll press control with my left thumb and one with my left index finger. And I'll exit that with the escape key. Likewise, I'll do control with my left thumb, shift with my left index, and one with my middle finger to format as a number with two decimal points. And then as I move along the keyboard, I'll do control with my left thumb, shift with my left index, and then my right index will come over and hit four and five and any keyboard to the right thereafter. Now, this might not be the best technique, but I use my left thumb for shortcuts that require my right hand. I should probably just use my left pinky, but this is what I do. For example, control page up and page down moves you through sheets in your workbook. So I'll press control with my left pinky, and then I'll navigate with page up and page down my right hand. Likewise, control tab, hit control with my left thumb, and then tab to cycle through open workbooks. And to highlight a range of cells, I'll use control shift with my left thumb and index finger, and then I'll navigate those arrow keys with my right hand over here. Moving on to the alt key, it's always your left thumb, because alt is this key just to the left of spacebar, and it's really easy to hit with your left thumb. So if I copy something, I can press Alt with my left thumb and then ESV and click Enter to activate. Likewise, I can press Alt with the left thumb and then WFF to freeze and unfreeze panes. You can highlight a group of cells and then do Alt PRS to set the print area. And the escape key exits that menu. Alt with the left thumb, H-O-T, brings up the tab color menu. And then Alt-R-S 
does spell check. Now moving on to the last set of special keys, I press the F2 key quite a lot to activate the cells edit mode, and I do so with my left middle finger. And then I press the F4 key to add an absolute reference, and I do that with either my left index finger or my left middle finger. And now that you've got a good understanding of finger placement for Excel shortcut keys, check out my top 65 shortcut key video, and I will see you next time.